job of an Indian agent in the Southwest was never an easy one. Riding herd on Apaches was an art that took plenty of learning. Just how much I began to find out on a certain day in the autumn of 73. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm the Indian agent here. Indian agent? What's the matter with you? Why do you fear us? Don't you know that we are your friends? <laughs> I speak the language of your people. I learned it so that I could be a friend to all of you. Yes. You are different. I don't recognize you. Where are you from? What are you doing here? Are you looking for someone? Who are you looking for? Cochise. Cochise. Does he know you? All right. I'll take you to him. with his people. He told me to run away and bring the child while there was still time. Came upon this woman while she was trying to find you, Cochise. She is the child of my brother. Now she is married to one of the Pinal Apaches. The Pinal? You have come all the way from the San Miguel Reservation? Yes. I do not understand why your husband sent you away. While there was still time, you said. Marissa, this man is Tom Jeffers, my friend, my blood brother. You may speak to him as you would to me. Jeffers. I have heard that name. All Apaches have heard it or respect it. Tell me about your husband's people. What is their trouble? They are sick, dying. The white men make them live in flat country where it is low and damp. A fever grips them. And they have died already. I will not see Chilano again. Fever. Malaria. Always this has happened when Apaches remain too long in low country. I know. For centuries the Apaches have lived in the mountains. It is the Indian agent who forces them to do this. Is it a man known to you? I've heard of him. He's a new man. He's not bad, he's just new. His name is Peterson. We will all die because of this man. I'll try, Cochise. I'll leave at once. I'll take Captain Farrell with me. He's a fine doctor. Peterson will not listen to either of you. Maybe he will. Maybe you will see your husband again.
too far gone for even quinine to help. Keeping these people here is monstrous. I'm going to telegraph the Indian Bureau in San Francisco. Good. Maybe that'll get some action while some of these people are still alive. I got to call on Peterson. Pay my respects. You'll be here? All day. Maybe longer. I'm Tom Jeffries, agent from the Chiricahua Reservation. I'm looking for Mr. Peterson. Well, he's here. Won't you come in? Thank you. Father. Yes? This is Mr. Jeffries. He's Indian agent at the Chiricahua Reservation. Yes, I heard. Mr. Peterson? How do you do, Mr. Jeffries? Very kind of you to come and visit me. This is my daughter, Faith. Well, how do you do, Miss Peterson? I had no idea you had your daughter out here with you. Oh, I love it here. And Father couldn't get along without me. Could you, Dad? No, I couldn't. Faith has made a home for me in the wilderness far better than I deserve. But sit down, Mr. Jeffords. You had a long, hard ride. Thank you. Yes, do sit down and talk to us a while. A visitor out here is like something sent from heaven. Are things going well on your reservation? Really well, thanks. I'm sorry to see that you're having some trouble here. Trouble? Why, no, Mr. Jeffords. Our Indians are giving very little trouble, I'm glad to say. Seems to me that malaria is big trouble. Who said anything to you about malaria? I've seen it for myself. You've been to their encampment? It's almost directly on my way here. Mr. Peterson, you've got to let those people move away. Get back to higher ground. Mr. Jeffords, this is my reservation. And I'll thank you to let me run it. Have you ever visited the Indians? Do you know that they've got malaria? Well, of course I know it. I've had the doctor from Fort Taylor look at them. He's given them as much quinine as he could spare. Well, they're still dying. I can't help that. You've got a tremendous reservation here. Hundreds of square miles. There must be some other place on higher ground where they could live. Yes, there is. Right here in the Northeast. That's where they want to go. The Black Mesa. Nice high country. And right here, outside the reservation, is the Aries. A natural mountain stronghold where they could defy a whole army. Just as your own Chiricahuas did in their stronghold. Once inside there, It'll be the scourge of the whole countryside, just as they were five years ago. No, sir. I've got to keep them in here where the army can control them. These people are at peace. I don't think that they'll break out of the reservation. Mr. Jeffords, this is my responsibility, and I don't care what you think. Daddy, please. Faith, this man is meddling in my affairs. Yes, I am, and I'm going to go on meddling. I'm going to recommend that these Indians be moved to the Black Mesa. You'll be wasting your time, Mr. Jeffords. It'll be your word against mine and your word alone. It won't be my word alone. What do you mean by that? I didn't come here alone, Mr. Peterson. I brought an army doctor with me, Captain Farrell. He's going to telegraph the Indian Bureau. This, this Captain Farrell, where is he now? At the Indian encampment. He's there now, filling them full of ideas, I suppose. And quinine. Well, he won't be there long, I can promise you that. Mr. Peterson. He won't leave sick people just because you tell him to. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, I'll go straight to the fort and get Colonel Dean. He'll put your Captain Farrell under arrest if necessary. I'm sorry. 
Won't you stay for dinner? You've a long ride ahead of you. Fine dinner, Miss Peterson. Thank you. I wish you could understand my father. I think I do. No, you don't. To him, the strongest thing in the world is his sense of duty. He feels his duty is to the settlers around here, to keep the Apaches from ever threatening them again. By keeping them chained up like a lot of wild animals? He... Sometimes I think he's afraid of them. For me, I mean. Since Mother died, I'm all he has left. He didn't want me to come out here. Their history is cruel. There was cruelty on both sides. Where is your father? Gone to the fort. To the fort? They're pulling out, all of them. Yes, we're going to the Black Mesa. It was our plan to take your father as hostage. But now we will take you. What? When Peterson comes back, tell him this. If soldiers follow us, his daughter will die. If he lets us reach Black Mesa, she will come back alive. This is not the way. You've got to listen to me. I... Let's throw off me. Let's throw her! Catch up later. Who are you? Why do you follow us? I want to talk to you. There is no time for talk. I want to help you. My name is Jeffords. No. Jeffords? Yes. I'm an agent for the Chiricahua Apaches. I know of this man. He is the blood brother of Cochise. My woman is a Chiricahua. Are you Chilano? Yes. I'll forget that bump on the head. I bring news of Narita. She is well. And your child as well. They are with Cochise now. She told me about how your people suffer from the fever. That is why I came, to talk to the agent Peterson. You talked? Did he listen? Not yet. I think it would be better if you go back now. I've brought a doctor, a white medicine man, with me to help your people. Yes, he has tried to help us. But we have decided. We will not go back. You must go back. Then the doctor can speak strongly to the Indian Bureau. Tell them that your people must be allowed to go to the high country. I'll say the same. They'll believe us. How long before they let us go? Perhaps another moon. In another moon, we will all be dead. We go now. Wait. Let Peterson's daughter return with me. No. You've got to listen to me. You're making a mistake. I make no mistake. Tell Peterson if he sends soldiers, his daughter will die. Do not follow. It is not my wish to kill you. 
That's how it stands. It's not very pleasant. But I'm sure your daughter is safe, Mr. Peterson. As long as the Colonel doesn't order them followed. As soon as they get to Black Mesa, she'll be sent back here unharmed. <laughs> you have great faith in an Indian's word. Yes, I have, Colonel Dean. Hmm. Ah, my men are ready. We'll start at once. Colonel Dean, you are not in charge here. Oh? Uh -huh. Who is? You? Mr. Peterson's in charge as long as the Indians are on the reservation. And Black Mesa is on the reservation. Yeah, but they won't stop there. They'll go on to the area and we'll never get them back. Mr. Peterson, will you give me my orders? Don't let him rush you, Peterson. You don't need soldiers to control Indians. Maybe you don't. But you have a very exceptional Indian to deal with, Cochise. My Indians are not like Cochise. Are you sure? I think there's something of Cochise and almost all Apaches. Give these people a chance to be your brothers as God intended. Brothers? Why, they don't know the meaning of the word. Do you know that my daughter ministered to them when they were sick? Slipped out to their camp many times against my wishes and nursed them during this epidemic. And how do they repay her? With kidnapping and death. Not yet. She'll die only if you give this man the command that he wants. I'm afraid, Mr. Jeffords. It's my duty to give him that order. to stop this before it's too late. Tell the Colonel to halt the truth. He's got to obey you. If you persist in interfering, Mr. Jeffords, I shall be forced to place you under arrest. Well, you might as well, because I'm not going to stop. She is sick with fever. Yes, let me have it. It isn't too late. Give her some quinine, she'll be all right. Give me a hand, will you? I... I hardly know what to say, Jalala. What made you bring her back? When we were sick, she helped us. Now, because of that, maybe she is sick. Your medicine man can make her well. If we kept her, she would die. Now, I suppose they will die when you send them back to the lowlands. I... I still have to do my duty. Your duty? Your duty is to these Indians. You talk about Cochise. How lucky I am to have him to deal with. Cochise himself couldn't have made a finer move than Chilano just did. I think his word is good. 
Solano, these men are afraid that if you go to the Black Mesa, you won't stop there. You'll go on to the Erie. What do you say? We will not go beyond the Black Mesa. This I swear. That's nonsense. No one could take his word. I'll take it. Solano, you. You've taught me something about Indians. And you have taught me something of the honor of the white man. Go back to your people, Solano. Take them to the Black Mesa. Now for more great Western action in the Big Valley. And at 5 Eastern, the lure of gold in the desert almost destroys a man's life on Wagon Train, here on CBN.